Hey guys, it's Woody here at USMA Blade and just here tonight to do a quick overview with you on the brand new Harsey folder from Spartan Blades. Uh, this is designed by Harsey, Bill Harsey, and uh, made by Spartan Blades. And a little bit of influence, I think, from Spartan in there. This this knife, I'm I'm excited to be one of the first to get these in. Uh, absolutely stunning folder. Um, just a fantastic job on all the fit and finish from the guys over at Spartan. Let me give you the specs real quick on this thing. Put this up so you guys can look at it again. Flip it over so maybe it looks a little more even. Sorry if I seem a little shaky. I've been at the gym. Um, trying to get my tail back in shape. But a uh, four inch blade, just over eight and three quarter inches overall length. Uh, blade thickness on this thing is just over 0.15 inches. It's S35 steel and weight comes in just under 5.9 inches. For the length and the size of this knife, that's pretty light. Um, but it feels good. It feels, feels just like a tank. Um, good feel in the hand. I get all four fingers on it. Still have plenty of room coming out at the end. Um, blade comes nice and sharp out of the box. I mean, Spartan does a, does a great job. Uh, this is this just being honest with you. This is my favorite new or favorite folder that they've done, and I, I was a big fan of the uh, Payless, and we'll we'll show you that when we do some comparisons here in just a little bit. But I mean, this is this is a stunning, stunning knife. Um, I I kind of see some Hinderesque and a mix between Hinder and and uh, Chris Reeve on this knife. And and I I hope that's not overstepping a line or anything, but but it 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 almost looks like if the two companies combined to make a folder, you'd have this right here, which I think is a big compliment to uh, to what Bill Harsey did and and what Spartan came out with on this final product. So gorgeous knife. A uh, few little details about it. There is an internal stop pin. Um, don't know. You guys can see that in there or not when that popped open, but so you're not going to over overextend when you open it. Knife closes up and sits just dead center and opens just smooth as butter. There's no flipper, there's no gimmicks or anything with this knife. It just is what it is. Uh, you got your tab insert on the other side. The clip is is on the on the right side carry for now but the, as you can see that clips inside that insert so you can flip it over uh easy transition to left hand carry um just a stunning knife from spartan I, i'm really impressed and really happy to have these in so i'll quit uh talking about this knife here and we'll get around to what we do with all new knives and overviews and that is jump over to some comparison picks so we'll be right back with this all right, guys, so back with you here and, and just giving you some comparison ideas. Uh, we do these just so you guys at home that uh, don't have knife shops in your area, um, maybe we can throw up some knives that you may own or are familiar with. Um, always like to start out with some knives from the same company. And this, this up until the Harsey folder came out, was my favorite, but it's still still probably in my... In my top list of knives that I own, uh, and that, that is the Spartan Payless. Um, so as you can see, about the same size and length and everything else. Um, both great knives, just a little different on the Payless as we've got the button lock on that. But uh, throw that in there for you guys that already own some Spartan knives. And then, of course, i got to throw in another one here, the Spartan Acrobus. Acrobus is a little smaller. I uh, think this is one of the first folders that Spartan made, but it's a it's a great folder as well. Uh, just a little different design. So for you guys, you Spartan Blades guys out there that already own those, hopefully the RC folder is fitting the size that you were hoping for. Uh, let's move along. I always like to do a Southern Grind. They're one of our shop favorites here, and we've got a lot of Southern Grind uh, Bad Monkey owners out there. And this is the Southern Grind Bad Monkey. About the same length overall. So that'll give you an idea of how long this knife is. I think both of them are just around that 9-inch mark. Maybe slightly 
over it and under it, uh, with the bad monkey being over it. Um, so let's jump over. We'll give you guys some zero tolerance comparisons. This is the ZT0452CF. Um, honestly, 452 is about a quarter inch longer. Uh, weight on these is pretty similar. So for you ZT owners and you think that 452CF is pretty light, uh, we're talking about a full tie knife from Spartan that's that's not much heavier. Um, let's go with new for 2016 in the ZT department. This is the 804 CF, which was is has been heralded for its size and and just go to hard use uh, ability and also for its lightweight and that's 5.2 ounces. So you're only about uh, 0.6 ounces or so difference. Um, yeah, oh God, the 804 CF, a little thinner profile, but about the same length overall, maybe slightly shorter. And while we're on ZT, let's throw in one last one here. The 562 CF. And sorry, I think we're getting a little reflection off that. Let me. Now, hopefully you guys can, hopefully it's picking that up okay, or I'll have to redo this. But that was the Zero Tolerance 562 CF. Um, yeah, let's jump over, give, it the, give you the Emerson CQC hit. Still got the tag on it. CQC Super 7, or Super CQC 7. <coughs> Excuse me. And the Super... CQC7 is a little longer, definitely a little thicker in the handle. Um, just throwing it in there for you Emerson guys out there. Uh, if you're an Emerson fan, you should definitely check out Spartan Blades. Oh, I skipped the ZT. Let's run back to this one. I had this one out on purpose. Uh, just giving you a full tie ZT compared to the full tie Harsey. Uh, that's the ZT0220. Um, just throwing it in there so you guys can get an idea. And then let's jump over to Benchmade. I'm gonna save a little bit of something for the last year. But this is a Benchmade, brand new Benchmade Crooked River. Um, that's it, a lot of people are saying that's kind of the knife of the year. It's gotten really great fan results and, and it's a beautiful knife. A little bit longer than the Harsey folder actually, a little bit over nine inches on this one. Um, just throwing them in here for you guys that are considering or thinking about buying one of those or considering the Harsey. Um, and then we got to go old style and throw in the old Benchmade Griptilian. One of the most popular knives out there. Lots of people own it. So hopefully for you Benchmade guys, that gives you an idea. And then I had to go and open my big mouth about the... Uh, about kind of the comparison between what I said earlier. Kind of seeing some Chris Reeve influence. So this is a Sabenza 25. This one's got the carbon fiber inlays, but uh but so the Sabenza 25 compared with the Harsey folder. Um don't know if you guys can see some of that influence or not. I see it a little bit more maybe with Chris Reeve when it comes to the acrobus on the Spartans. And then the hinder. I'm going to throw in the XM24. This is the Skinner model. And I think maybe you can see a little bit of that influence. Or maybe I'm just crazy. But uh, but all great knives. Um, on the 24, you're, you're a little longer. And definitely a little heavier and bigger. But, uh, but that's it, guys. That is the... That does it. This is the Spartan Harsey folder. We do have these in stock. They come in, uh, this is the stonewashed version, and then they also have a DLC coated version. Um, both of them are, like I said, just stunning knives. Uh, absolutely just custom done to the nines. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed with every little nook and cranny on these. I think they're going to be very popular, and I'm hoping you guys will well, trust me on this one, and, and any of you that are into higher-end folders and appreciate really good quality, definitely give these a good, solid look and consideration. Uh, we have these available right now. They are in stock at usamadeblade.com. And that's it, boys and girls. We appreciate you, as always, for watching.